How y'all doing? Ain't nothing like being connected to everything, yet nothing at all. I hope everybody in the highest vibratory frequency and the highest vitality of energy possible. And um, in the highest space of emotional stability, because it's not easy. Life is going on, shifts is going on, and more life is going on. But thankfully, and I am most grateful for the fact that whether we know it or not, we all been given. We all been given the tools we need to get through whatever show up. So if we haven't became aware of those tools that we have been given, or if we don't even know that we have tools that we that we have been given. If your life and the experiences that you have have experienced and what you know as your life haven't made you aware of the tools that you have been given, then I, I really don't know what to tell you, but I wish the best for you, you hear me? Because in this time, and the type of different types of people on the planet, cause we're not all the same. I know a lot of y'all getting that now. A lot of y'all seeing that now. A lot of y'all hearing that now. And a lot of us are witnessing that now. We're not all the same. So now many people are understanding what I meant when you probably heard me say it the first time or a few years back, depending on how long you've been rocking with me. But, that's important because they gonna say we in our ego when we know what we talking about and we able to explain it and they can't but they gonna talk like it they gonna say you think you better than them when you start practicing better living habits better self-care, better health habits, better self-respect, better self-worth, better self-value, and start putting people in their place when they try to treat you like what you're not. When you try to improve your lifestyle, but more so when you try to improve yourself as a person. They gonna say, what am I getting at? They gonna say all kind of shit <laughs> to distract you when you on your journey of becoming, of being better than you never been. They gonna do all kind of things. <laughs> To knock you off your way, you hear me? When you be, when you on your journey to becoming better and not bitter, cause the bitterness don't show you all they can show you. The bitterness don't did all they can do to you, and the bitterness don't gave you the ability to do for yourself. What well, couldn't happen if, if if it had not showed up? You know, if you don't listen, you will miss it. See, it's not what happened to us that count. It's what we do with it. So nothing happens to us. It's only happening for us. And if we and if we start paying more attention to the four and less focused on the two concerning us then we'll reap the greatest benefits of the experience and whatever experience we find ourselves having in the moment, that we have a moment to have a moment. Yeah.
<laughs> so, if you paid attention, I salute you, because a lot of people in this time, especially concerning those that people that was privileged just as I for our life path to come across each other a lot of people wishing they paid attention now <laughs> a lot of people wishing they paid attention now and even more so the people that we come up with depending on what type of life signature, energy signature you came here to be, the people you came up with, the people who you who you share <laughs> your God spark with, the people who you talk your God spark to, for free, let me add. They wish they paid attention, those that didn't. They wish they paid attention, and it's more that didn't pay attention than maybe the few that did. They wish they paid attention because that's why they missed it. See, it's crazy that, if we be honest, people only pay attention only if they paying for what service they being given. And, and if you pay even closer attention, in some cases, you'll find that, that they don't even pay attention then. And that's why they missed the lesson. You pay attention. See, very few people cherish things they receive for free. Let's be honest. <laughs> very few people cherish things they receive for free. And guess what? Because it meant them nothing. Because it cost them nothing. It meant, it meant nothing to them. Are you that type of person? Are you the person I'm talking to? Or are you the person I'm talking for? Hmm? Cause it cost you nothing. Did it mean nothing to you? Because if so, then you probably still learning some lessons, just like those that I know. Learning the same lessons, matter of fact, not no new ones. Learning the same lessons, that same hamster wheel. Let's talk about it. But who's gonna tell that? But who's gonna tell that truth like me? <laughs> More so, who's gonna tell my truth like me? See, they expected me to lose too. Just like some of y'all. They never considered me beating the odds. Any odds for that matter. <clears throat> They never thought of me winning anything for that matter. <laughs> so it's an honor to be here. You know, listen, you're gonna miss it because I'm talking for us, some of us, and I'm gonna be talking to some of y'all that come through here. <laughs> so it's an honor to be here. It ain't nothing like being connected to everything yet, nothing at all. <laughs> but what do Sawu mean by that? Just keep living, and it, and it will reveal it to you as you reveal yourself to you. Matter of fact, have you hugged yourself today? Because we're still on that over here. <laughs> As I've said previously, we do practice pouring love into ourselves. You hear me? I was asked, how do you know if you're healing? So, I know we're not supposed to ask a question with a question, but when I, but sometimes I do things to initiate an initiation meaning to provoke people to think they self into the answer that they think they, they, they seeking outside. So when I was asked, how do you know if you're healing? I said, how do you know when you're not? See how quick that made y'all think? So you know when you're not healing, when you're going through the same hamster wheel, the same toxicity, 
the same arguments, the same conflicts, the same traumas <laughs> that you've been familiar with since you've been familiar with. You know how you you know when you're healing when you're not going through them no more. Right? When they become the lessons in your life, not the lessons to you, but the lessons to somebody else. See, you know when you're healing. <laughs> If you could talk and laugh about all the things that you couldn't talk and laugh about before. <laughs> that you couldn't talk and laugh about when you was going through it. Whatever you was going through, when it was taking you through, what it was going to take you through. See, when you know you're healing, when you can talk and laugh about all the dark. All those things that you would never tell nobody, that you that 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 most of y'all still ain't telling nobody because you ain't healed it within yourself. Spirit, mind, body. See when it comes to all I overcame. <laughs> As I talk from my strength and I talk to some of y'all strengths, I'm going to also talk to some of the weaknesses. Spirit, mind, and body. How can three things become one in the form of Saul and many more things, many more elements? But how can three things become one in the form of what you see in the presence of you? <laughs> See, when it comes to all I overcame, y'all think they like my strength? Y'all think they like my light? Y'all think they like my smile? Do you think they like my happiness? Now, who is the they? Any opposition? <laughs> Any law of vibratory force? Any law of vibratory person? Any, any dark or demonic type of principality, <laughs> any form of anything that represent what I do not, what you do not, in love and life, you hear me? So, what's my point? If they don't like those qualities that make me the best version that I could be for myself, and be that for you, Share a message with you. What you think they? What you think they? they what you think they feel about you? <laughs> Cause they ain't the only light bearer or light bringer on the planet. What you think they feel about you? This is to my soul tribe, not those that's just passing by. What do you think they think about you? What make you think they like yours? You pay more attention to the people that smile in your face. Everybody don't like us, and that's a good thing. That's why we grateful for the few people that love us genuinely. See, and the more you learn to recognize that, the more you can get rid of the extra baggage that may be energetically, spiritually, mentally holding you down in some way, somehow. <laughs> You'd be surprised who'd be right around you with their fingers crossed on you. It's the ugly truth, but it's the truth. It's an uncomfortable say it's an uncomfortable conversation, but it's a conversation need to be had. And the more you're willing to have them, the more you'll recognize these things and, and, and the more you can do some cleanup. Where some cleanup need to be done. You know, but if you do nothing to change it, don't expect nothing to change. <laughs> Spirit, mind, and body. 
See, if you work on all three of those components of your organism and discipline and develop your foundation to be strong and keep your mind mentally sharp in the process while at the same time elevating continuing to activate your spirit to be energized and continually raised up you will be able to maneuver to whatever surface in your life because your spirit is in a place is in a space where it knows what it has to do where it has to be where it has to go and who it has to speak to. We are the supercomputer. <laughs> we are the machines. They putting it to machines. You don't listen, you're gonna miss it. We are the machines they putting into machines. But they want AIs and robots to replace us and we need to know why. Why am I saying all these things that's leading up to this? <laughs> because we still get tired. As human beings, we still get tired. The machines don't. <laughs> AI don't. <laughs> and AI won't because it's just an accumulation. <laughs> of all of our thoughts, all our experiences, all of our knowledge, all of our wisdom, all of our under understanding, all of our information, <laughs> from the lowest vibratory form to the highest vibratory form, a consciousness, all wrapped up into a program. Why is that important? <laughs> Because at some point, we may need to remember a lot of things that we don't trust it into the hands of a computer or a phone. I was looking for my phone, but I can't, it, it ain't on the table. So, We need to be on point. We need to be on point. And I ain't judging who is or who ain't. I'm just sharing some things to make us think. Because it's always going to be one. Just like me, it's always going to be one. And I ain't seen another like me come through my bloodline outside of the the, the generation that came be, came before me, so I had to really figure out some things to 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 take it to another level. So it's always gonna be just one. That's nothing like the rest. We can call it what we want to, but if we look through history, and if you look through your history, you'll see in every generation, in every generation gonna be one. That's nothing like the rest. And it's an honor to be here. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Thanks for the likes, unlikes, shares, uh, subscribes. You may have liked the video in the beginning and I said something that, you know, trigger you the wrong way and you unlike it now. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate you for being you and appreciate me in the process. Yer, salute.